You already know who it is, it's your boy Mike 21 Mills, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mega Man Zero. In the last episode, this happened, we don't know what's going on, seems that there's some big mechanoloid attacking the base, and Zero has to go take care of it, cause we, cause I'm a boss like that, cause Zero's a boss like that. Anyways, the mechanoloid must be up ahead of you. Stay sharp, Zero. Mission start. We getting right into this. We're going with this thing. I gotta make sure to check my weapons, make sure they are right. They good. So now we're going right in here. We gotta hurry up, get out here, and get to this thing. Mm. There must be a weak point, even for a giant mechanoloid. Good luck. And CL is right, but actually there are three weak points, and you'll see them flash white as I go through and slash away um I haven't played this game in a while I'm not even gonna lie I've been played in a while even though it's my favorite game and like I said in one of the previous episodes I usually don't get this far with an A rank so there are there's a there's three weak points and I just destroyed one but in actuality there are four weak points which one will come out when I fi finish destroying the first three I'm using the saber because I like to use this Z saber and I probably should be using the buster like I am now, I should have been using it through the whole thing, but whatever, it happened. So, we got the first three done, and then that's when this guy comes out, and look at my life. Watch what my life looks like when I get through beating this. Like I keep saying, I've never been this far with an A rank, so I didn't know what to expect from this guy, like I've never seen him before, i never faced him before, which is really frustrating. So, what he does, he shoots his little shot, but if you stay close to the machine, you can dodge those. Then he shoots this little web gate thing, I don't know. He shoots it, hits you, and you get stunned, and then he throws bombs. Which, everything is pretty easy to dodge, once you know. You see, I, I, I adapted to it pretty well, sorta. My life's pretty low, I'm about to die, but I feel like I adapted to it pretty well. Look at that. And then, you gotta make sure you gotta let the mechanoloid get over to this orange building, and let him go halfway through, because you can go on, under the orange building, and get a cyber elf, which is very important. And also, you get an extra life, but you'll see that in a second. Good work, Zero. Our base is safe, thanks to you. We really appreciate your effort, Zero. So yeah, you get this life, and that little gray bar will be gone the next time I come back through here. So you can drop down through there. Anyways, we went from an A to a B, we're pacifists. And I think that's because I only destroyed three enemies. The, little, the two bats and then the mechanoloid itself. So, that's what happened. If you didn't stop the giant mechanoloid, the resistance base would become a sitting duck. Thank you, Zero. With your cooperation, maybe peace will be restored. So here we go. Choose, we're doing another mission. Which mission are we going to do? I think we go to find the hidden base, of course. We have received information that there is a hidden base of the enemy somewhere in the desert. And that they are holding Reploid in it. We've been trying to locate it, but... If there is a hidden base, and if Reploids are being held there, we must save them as soon as possible. Will you find where they hidden the base is? Hidden the base is. Where the hidden base is? They must be somewhere in the desert. Will you accept? Of course I will, CL. Anything for you. He wouldn't say that. I'm kind on you, Zero. Let's go. Mission start. Okay, and now since... Since uh, I'm not an A rank anymore, I really don't care about my skill in this game. So, um, from now on, this game's gonna be kind of sloppy. I'm gonna be playing kind of sloppy, I'm not gonna lie. Because, you know, it's no point in caring. If you're not an A rank, you know, you might as well just get through the levels. You don't need to worry about not getting hit if you're not an A or S rank. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through these levels. Make sure you hug the right wall, the left wall. You can get this cyber elf over here. I'm not collecting all the cyber elves, but, you know, I'm collecting the ones that I'm going to use eventually. 
Okay, there's a wall, wait for a minute, I'll disarm it, blah 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 blah, okay, you can proceed. I don't know how she disarms it, I guess she has some kind of hacking ability. This is not the first, this is not the only time she does that, but um, oh well. Now that little part right there, it's a lot harder than I made it look, trust me. You probably will die there if it's your first time playing the game, because those spikes are instant kill. They will kill you instantly, because they're instant kill spikes. Makes sense, right? Hmm. <laughs> So yeah, this level is base. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, you want to make sure that you destroy these pillars. I'm using the Z saber, but you should probably be safe and use the the Z buster, X buster, Mega buster. Use the gun. Be safe and use the gun at that part. These turtles, I hate them because you destroy the thing on top, and for some reason I never jump because I know the missile's coming, but I never jump ever. I don't know why. Look at this. Three times in a row, I destroy the top thing, but I didn't jump. Now you want to head all the way over here to the left, to the left, to the left, and then you'll get these three things, which is cool, and then head back to the right, of course. Um, this level is pretty, I thought it was a pretty cool level, like all this ice and everything. I mean, I guess that kind of hints that the boss is going to be some sort of ice boss. You know, and if you didn't notice, I changed my element to fire at the beginning, that should give you a hint too. This is the hidden base, wait for a minute. And I'll unlock the door. I didn't know she did it in this episode. Well, I guess she does. It's unlocked. Stay alert, Zero. She didn't say Zero, but I just added that on there. Because I wanted to. Just so you know. Now, the gimmick with this level is there are... Well, she'll explain it. Thank you for saving me. There are six more Reploids being held in this base. We are going to hijack a shuttle in the hangar and escape after you save everyone. Please save the others. I'll head for the hangar and wait for you. So yeah, there are seven Reploids that you have to find and save. That was number one. And there are six more that we gotta find, as she said. And the, the gimmick with this level is it's kind of a, a stealth mission because there will be rep. There will be the little blue Mega Man looking like things with the red eye. I don't know what to call them. The Mega Man guys. I don't know. There'll be those guys, but they'll be green and they'll have the red light showing. There's one, I just destroyed it. If you get noticed by one of them, then the alarms will go off and enemies will come and it's really not that big. All you gotta do is get away and wait for like 10 seconds. Oh, perfect example. You get caught, you come up here, you wait. And if you didn't notice, in that particular door, there was one of those X drones, the little Mega Man looking like guy. He's in there, you see him? the window that's why I decided to come back down but yeah as soon as I went as soon as I got noticed those little guys appeared the guys with the huge arms don't know what they've been doing to get their arms so big but um yeah they popped up out of nowhere thank you there are three more prisoners left to save excellent so let's go so yeah there's nothing I could really do here I was trying to charge up my X, my Z saber so I could hit him while I was on the ladder, which you can do, but apparently I can't do it right there. So I decided, just F it, let's go. Up here is another guy or gal or someone. Gotta wait for the alarm to go off and then uh, open it up and let's go. I'm free, thank you. I'm free. They probably haven't even been there in there all that long. Come on, I'm free sucks and then come down here there's nothing there you see right here you can use the Z saber and destroy him I did that twice everything's going good right here see that made no sense why didn't that one die in one hit like the other one did I don't understand look at him in there looking <laughs> one more prisoner to go good luck see now where she go that fast I was right behind her that make no sense but I forgive her, so she a redhead. I, I, I like me some redheads. Don't tell nobody. But I got a thing for redheads. Especially this girl, because she got the little hair. In the in the little braid or whatever. Reminds me of Cammy from Street Fighter, and I play as her. I'm Street Fighter. So, yeah. So here we go. Finishing it off. Almost done. Was that everybody? Yeah, that's everybody. Thank you for saving all of us, but it's not over yet. 
A boss is protecting the hangar for the shuttle. There is no way for us to defeat him without your help. Zero, please help us. Now I do realize that that didn't sound anything like a girl, but um, I don't really care. So here we go, at the boss already. Hmm, you must be Zero. You have done well to make it this far. But this is where your journey ends. I'm Blizzak Stagroth, the best warrior of the Farth and the Guardian. You won't beat me. Get ready. And so yeah, we gotta destroy this guy. Obviously he's ice, so he's weak to fire. And um, he does this and it'll slow you down. Obviously as you can see, I'm going super slow. He throws the ice, he freezes you, he jumps on you, that takes even more damage. And um, all you gotta do, every time you hit him, he'll jump in the air, pretty much most times. You just gotta be careful with him. And not die. Like that. I don't, think, I don't know if you noticed, but his, he had one pillar of life left. One pillar, I almost beat him. But, as I said earlier, I don't care about uh, rank anymore, so I went ahead and retried. And this time, I whooped his ass. I usually don't cuss, but just, um, just watch how this goes. Yeah, that quick. And I didn't even get hit once. I didn't even get touched. That's how it should have went the first time. Mission completed. This is Zero. I'm returning to base with the prisoners. Roger, and don't forget to bring the ice chip. I look forward to your return, Zero. Yeah, you got the ice chip. And here we go, yeah. Level B still, codename Warrior, cause we killing stuff, we warriors up in here. I shouldn't have said it like that. Zero, thanks to you as many as seven Reploids have been saved. We cannot thank you enough. You know what? My experiment is going fine so far. Once we, su once we succeed in developing a substitute energy, we plan to find a place to live a happy life. Somewhere out of the reach of our enemy near Arcadia. There, we'd like to live in peace, free from the anxiety of, of hunger and a warm blanket of happiness. If that happens, you're going to come with us, aren't you, Zero? Uh, I might. So yeah, here we are at the end of this episode. It's your boy, Mike21Mills, and I'm signing off. Yeah!